Welcome everyone. Today we're diving into a critical issue, the growing influence of George Soros in the media landscape and the looming threat of censorship. He continues to consolidate power. We must ask ourselves, do we want a single government entity ruling unchecked with no accountability for their actions? It's time to stand up and defend our freedom of speech. Let's take a closer look at what's happening. Indicated there's a um, transaction where a Soros-backed group would um, take ownership of over 200 radio stations across 40 different markets after uh, the FC originally indicating that that transaction could be reviewed and approved at the bureau level without a commission vote. Um, it's now become clear that that is a decision before the full commission, and it's one that I would assume uh, now or in the near future the commission would approve. I think what's interesting about it is that the FC here is not following its normal process reviewing a transaction. We have ses established over a number of years one way in which you can get approval from the FCC when you have in excess of 25 percent foreign ownership, which this transaction does. And it seems to me that the FCC is poised to create, for the first time, an entirely new shortcut. Yeah, thank you. As you, as you pointed out here and previously, these proceedings for transfer of ownership have been expedited. Um, what exactly makes this case so deserving of an expedited proceeding so far, from what you could tell? There is nothing about this transaction um, that is out of the ordinary. It's the type of thing that we see all the time, and the FC has a process for this. Um, the full commission itself has never signed off on a shortcut like this. What we usually do is we require people to file a petition with us. We bring in national security agencies. They can review the foreign ownership. It's probably no big deal here, but we review that foreign ownership, and then we vote. Here, they're trying to do something that's never been done before at the commission level. If we don't start to seriously fight for our continent, for our religion, for our people, our countries, then this time that we live in will go down in history as the time in which Western nations no longer had to get invaded by hostile armies in order to be conquered. This time will then go down in history as the period in which the invader was actively invited in by a corrupt elite. And not only did this corrupt elite invite the enemy in, they made the native population pay for it too.